Warning. Although my content is usually family-friendly, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such, will contain blood, language, suggestive themes, and violence. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, it's been a while since we recorded it, but it hasn't <laughs> been a while since you've seen it. Unless something There's... unexpected happened, but we're, oh, we're, we're recording this way far in advance. So, hey, everybody, welcome hey. back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. We're continuing the final case, the bonus case. We're on the day free investigation. This is the last investigation period in the entire game. Well, I guess that just means we're going to have to play another Phoenix Wright game sometime soon. I'd be down for that. Yay! All right. February 24th, 3, 12 p.m., Wright & Company Law Offices. I'm so sorry, Mr. Wright. I'm sorry for what my sister said. Flashback. Drastic crimes require drastic measures. That's just the way it is. We did what we had to in order for him to get the verdict he deserved. I... I didn't know. I never knew that the SL9 incident was just another name for... the Joe Dark killings. Sounds like everyone's heard about these killings but me. Lana wanted Dark convicted so badly. That's why she used me. That's why she used what happened to me. What do you mean, what happened to you? It's all there in the file. Joe Dark's last victim was Prosecutor Neil Marshall. When he murdered Officer Marshall's brother, he left behind an incriminating piece of evidence. But what did you have to do with those killings, Emma? On the night Prosecutor Neil Marshall was murdered, Joe Dark tried to kill me. Holy crap! I, to I told you this like, case is the darkest. Ah! <laughs> what? He tried to kill you? Officer Marshall's brother, Neil, was only trying to save me. So that means you... Yes. I was a witness in the Joe Dark trial. I didn't see that one coming. I guess if you think about it, though, this is semi, like, almost like a parallel thing mm -hmm. to Mia and Oh, yeah. And, um, and it's completely intentional. Right, it is. It happened two years ago. It was right about this time of year, too. There was a terrible thunderstorm that day. Unusual for the season. <laughs> yeah, in winter, having a thunderstorm? I was alone in my sister's office. Why? We were planning to eat dinner together. What? Really? What is this? What? It's exactly the same, where Maya's like, let's go eat dinner! <laughs> and then they get murdered. We were planning to eat dinner together. <laughs> Did she get murdered in outer space? <laughs> let's light her to the rescue. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to make it less dark. Okay. We were planning to eat dinner together once she finished her work. Then suddenly, this terrifying man came bursting into the office. Who? Why didn't you lock the door? Joe Dark. It seemed like he was running from someone. He pulled out a knife and screamed at me. No! <laughs> that, okay. <laughs> no. That would be enough to make anyone freaked out. Oh yeah, and that guy doesn't look very friendly, does he? <laughs> no. I didn't know what was going on. Just then, Prosecutor Marshall showed up. Jake Marshall's brother. Joe Dark tried to take me hostage. But before he could, Mr. Marshall tackled him. Then... What happened? I'll never forget it. Lightning struck, and the lights went out. Suddenly, a bolt of lightning flashed outside the window, lighting up the office for an instant. What I saw then burned a permanent picture in my mind. I can still see it now. A permanent picture? I don't remember the moment when Dark stabbed Mr. Marshall. So you weren't able to testify about that? No, I was only asked about when I was attacked. That must be why Lana... why she made up the crime. Made it up? You mean, provided bogus evidence? The prosecutor's office wanted that guilty verdict so badly. Lana forged the evidence and Mr. Edgeworth used it. Edgeworth? Yes. But I'm sure he didn't know anything about it. He couldn't have known it was being... he was being given false evidence. Even so, that's when it all started. The rumors about Mr. Edgeworth and me. It's all my fault. It's not your fault, man. That's your sister's fault. <laughs> if I could have just testifi testified properly, none of this would have happened. 
So it's true. Even though he may not have known it, Edgeworth really was involved in falsifying evidence. After that case ended, Lana was never the same. She became cold like she is today. She must not have been able to face up to what she did, especially not to Emma. Yeah. Well, and any time you have that sort of tragic incident, it will change you, for sure. So... Sure, but... I'm sure it changed, um... Lana's still kind yeah. of a jerk, though. <laughs> Agreed. Absolutely. What did you see in the instant that crime occurred? Dark knocked down Mr. Marshall and raised his knife. Neil Marshall was stabbed right in front of this poor girl? I don't remember what happened after that. Apparently I passed out. Well, yeah you did! That would make sense. Aw. Oh. When I came to, Lana was cradling me in her arms. Poor Emma. You've been through so much. At least she wasn't killed. Thank goodness for that. She's one of my favorite Still, characters. Okay, two years ago, she would have been 15. This will no, happen. 14. No, 14. You're right, 14. She has to go into trial. She has to testify about all this stuff. That's insane! I mean, yeah. I know it I mean, happens, but like, oh my god. Cody did it! Yeah, Cody. <laughs> hey, you <laughs> saw how bad I felt for Cody. He yeah. started crying. I was like, I'm done. I mean, April May started crying too, but you didn't feel bad for okay, her. <laughs> April May is a grown woman. Yeah. Who got herself involved in what she got involved in in the first place. Like, it was kind okay. of her fault. Yeah. I couldn't bring myself to testify about that instant. I tried, but the words just wouldn't come out. I drew a picture, but it wasn't any good. Two years ago. You must have been 14. That's understandable. Once it was all over, I made up my mind. I decided that when I grew up, I'd become a scientific investigator. How do those... Oh, okay. I want to be able to fight crime with my testimonies. And find the evidence to make an airtight case. That way, Anna would never have to forge any. I see. I think I'm finally starting to understand what makes Emma tick. But there's still something that bothers me about that crime. There's something that's puzzling me, Emma. What is it? You said you were in Lana's office at the time, right? That's right. Why then would a serial killer come running in there? Well, I'm guessing that Marshall was chasing him. I'm guessing they- Cause, okay. But how did he get there? <laughs> I don't know. Whatever it is. Clearly, she has ties with the Marshall bros. I'm calling them the Marshall bros Bambina- Bambina bros. Oh. Bambina bros. <laughs> Um, clearly they have ties, so maybe it was like, oh, maybe one of the marshals dated Lana, that didn't work out. Then he was like starting, one of, he went bad, started chasing this dude, and then the dude like ran in. I don't, I don't know. I'm just trying to think like, clearly he must have been running from something. Like, no one just bursts into an apartment. Well, yeah. Was the, it an apartment? No, it was the prosecutor. It, it, well, we're about to find out. Okay, okay. Not only that, oh, but she was being no chased by there. him. Joe Dark had been taken in for questioning that day. Taken in for questioning? You mean by the police? Of course! This happened at the police department. He tried to run away halfway through the in interview and fled into my sister's office. But why did he run all the way over to your sister's office? Because the detective offices and the questioning room are right across from the elevator. Across from the elevator? But Lana was the chief prosecutor, wasn't she? No, silly! Didn't I tell you? Two years ago, Lana was a detective. She was the best in the entire force. What?! That's news to me! After the Joe Dark case, she was transferred to the prosecutor's office and made chief prosecutor. Lana used to be a detective? That would make sense. I better have another talk with her. I guess that would kind of make sense. Then. So okay, it's police department. <laughs> yeah. So that means he's like, gotta get away from. Oh, okay, that would make sense. You're running to a police office. Well, no, he's he was in the police office being questioned. He ran out of the room into one of the detective rooms, which is in the same. And building. he had a knife. 
with him, just like, Hah! They probably had the knife in it as evidence, and he just he grabbed, grabbed it on the it way and out. Ran? Probably. What was he in questioning for? Oh, well, I'm sure we'll find out later. Okay. See this? It's my attorney's badge. Ah! Well, I've never seen a real one before. You're the first one who's actually been interested in mine, believe me. <laughs> it's compo- It's compulsion is mostly silver. The gold plating is flaking a bit. She analyzed it, scientifically. There doesn't appear to be any corrosion due to sulfites. I'll give you fifty dollars for it. Sorry, but it's not for sale. Yet. Is it made out of, like, pure gold? <laughs> no. It seems everything is somehow related to this incident. What was it labeled again? The SL9 incident? Yes. The name of everyone connected to this trial is listed in here. All that's left is to figure out just what role everyone plays in this case. If we search hard enough, I think we'll find our answers. What exactly did or didn't Lana do? I'm not sure I want to know everything. That's understandable. Alright, let's have a little talk with Lana, shall we? Is she in there? February 24th, Detention Center Visitor's Room. She pulled an all-nighter. She might be sleeping. <laughs> I don't know. Nope. Nope. No, no sleep for the wicked, I guess. <laughs> Lana. Mr. Wright. Seems I keep causing you trouble. Falsifying evidence. I didn't think you were the type. Criminals don't mind playing foul. Why should we? But Lana, if you're wrong, an innocent person might be found guilty. Believe me, I understand the risks. Lana, Emma told me about you. Oh? About how you were a detective two years ago. And how the SL9 incident was the reason for your transfer to the prosecutor's office. That's right. Could you fill me in on the details? Especially about that unusual change of jobs? I suppose you have a right to know, Mr. Wright. She's actually kind of cooperating. A lot of revelations were uncovered at the trial today, not the least of which was the fact that this case is largely connected to another one, two years ago. Evidence from that case was stolen. I expected as much. I know how obsessive Officer Marshall can be. That trial really wasn't fair, was it? I believed in you, Lana. I believed that no matter what happened, you'd always stick to the truth. It couldn't be helped, Emma. At that trial two years ago, I sold my soul. Well, all drama aside, the fact of the matter is, at 5.15, there was no murder at the police department. Tell me it's not true, Lana. What the witness, Miss Starr, said. About you stabbing Mr. Goodman with a knife. Lana! I don't understand! Why won't you tell us? Emma, this doesn't involve just me. I don't think I've ever seen Lana look so phased before. Oh, man. It's true. I was a member of the police force two years ago. She was amazing! They still talk about all the cases she and Chief Gant cracked together. They're working together. Chief Gant? Calling it now. They're working together. <laughs> all right. <laughs> That's on record now. <laughs> then he was the vice head of the criminal affairs, but he still worked the crime scenes. Damon Gant, he was... Oh, wait, no, that's... <laughs> Damon <laughs> Gant! Damon Gant, he was everything I aspired to be. They were the best team ever! These solved crimes before the reports could even be filed! Emma really idolizes her big sister. But now you're chief prosecutor. What happened? I always planned on becoming a prosecutor. The reason I became a detective was... To gain experience investigating crime scenes so she, you could later use that experience in court. Hmm. Gant's help in the SL9 in the case was critical in its resolution. After that, he became chief of police and arranged my transfer to the prosecutor's office. Maybe I should ask more about this investigation of theirs two years ago. Two years ago, I was second in command of the detectives investigating Dark. Second in command? That means the chief detective was, no doubt, Damon Gant? Yes. De detective Gant and I shared the same office and the same investigations. They even had the same office? We led a team of the best detectives on the force. Oh yeah. Detective Goodman, whose case it was. Jake Marshall and Angel Starr. 
It was the first time Marshall worked with his brother. He was quite gung-ho. That's Texas yeah. joke, son. Yeah. <laughs> Without a doubt, Joe Dark was the serial killer. We asked him to come in for questioning. We were desperate for evidence. Hey, Joe Dark, we're pretty sure you're a serial killer. killer. Would you want to come down in the guy's office? Yeah, sure, man. All Just... right. <laughs> that was when the last murder took place. When he tried to murder Emma. So it was, okay, so it was multiple in a row, like, oh, this happened, oh, the next day, oh, the... Why didn't they just find him? Uh, uh, clearly! Okay. Because serial killers are really intelligent and plan Perhaps. out their crimes so they don't leave behind okay, evidence. Okay, but by the time it's like, hey, we're suspicious of you being a serial killer, and then he's like, ah, and like, runs out. <laughs> it's like, well, he's the one! <laughs> one. Right. I can't believe they didn't just, like, arrest him immediately. Prosecutor Marshall was trying to save me from Dark. You see, the first person who happened upon the scene of the crime was me. Now you tell us. Detective Gant and Prosecutor Marshall were the ones questioning Dark that day. The investigation was in its final stages, when Dark must have panicked. He waited until Gant and Marshall let their guards down, then fled the room. From there, he ran straight to the office shared by Gant and myself. That's where he found me. Why were you wait? Okay. Okay. You're wondering why she was in why the office? Why she was waiting in the office. Well, probably school got out, and she was like, Oh, Lana's gonna take me to dinner. I'll just hang out here Right. Yeah, and you can't, you can't stay in the room while someone's being questioned, so that would yeah. make sense. That would be more I wonder more if his intention to... was like, I know this girl's here, I'm gonna kill her, or if it was like, I need to get out of here. Probably the latter. Okay. But So you were the first person to run into the scene, Lana? It appears so. I was filing some papers while Mr. And while Gant and Marshall were questioning Dark. Oh, they were in the same room together? When I returned to my office, I saw three bodies on the floor and smelled blood. Three bodies? Prosecutor Marshall, the victim, Emma who had passed out. And the suspect, Joe Dark. During the struggle, it seems Mr. Marshall struck a final blow before he died. Joe Dark had incurred a... Yeah, incurred a minor concussion and lay unconscious. What did you do? To be honest, I panicked. I picked up Emma, carried her out of the room, and just held her. Can't blame her. After all, her sister must have gone through. And of course you're trying to make sure she's not the one that's dead. Yep. After that, I placed Dark under immediate arrest. Let me get this straight. You were all involved in the SL9 incident. That's right. Quite a coincidence, hmm? I don't buy it. What are you saying? There's no way everyone involved in this trial was also involved in that incident just by chance. But that case was solved two years ago! At least one person went to extremes because they didn't believe it was truly solved. Officer Marshall. Yes, his actions came as a surprise to me as well. Ever since his brother died, he's changed completely. He became a Texan. <laughs> he moved to gun. Texas. He bought a cowboy hat. <laughs> Started seeing Bambina all the time. Bought a horse and sold his car. <laughs> <laughs> then went back to does, Japan does he just, Okay, does he just ride a horse to work? Uh, that's what I like to picture. That's, that's what I like to picture too. He's like in LA, He's in like LA traffic and it's like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. I guess he wasn't convinced with the ruling against Joe Dark. Life doesn't end with the closing of a case. Everyone has to live the rest of their lives with their memories. That case just might not be over yet. Emma was assaulted by Dark at the police department, right? Yes, in the office that Damon Gant and I shared. The office that Mr. Gant now occupies by himself. The Chief's office. Maybe we should have a look at the Chief's office, the site of the final SL9 murder. I'm still, yeah. I, I, I'm, yeah. I'm sure he'll let us. He's he, he's at least pretty cooperative. Yeah, he's pretty cooperative. He's the dude that's like, I'll give you a fifty. Oh yeah, well like a fifty bucks. Yeah, I'll give you go. fifty bucks. Attorneys and prosecutors have no business showing evidence outside of court. It's taboo, especially when the interests of both parties are involved. She really means it. Lana. <laughs> Where's my attorney's badge? Come on. Hey Lana, you've been awarded the prosecutor <laughs> trophy of the year. Never mind, she does She didn't accept it. What a, what a jerk. Okay, fine. What? I, I guess she's just like, no, don't show me evidence. 
Alright, well, All right, let's well look. criminal affairs. Let's look and see who's February twenty fourth, police department Which criminal affairs. Are playing video games? I don't see Detective Gumshoe anywhere. Things seem kinda quiet around here today. You're right. The head of the department seems the same though. Why don't we go look for some people to talk to? Right. We can come back here later. But I want to look at the people who are playing games! Oh, heck yeah! You do this every investigation period. That man must be the head detective. He's staring at the screen so hard it might shatter. What?! Dark case may have been fabricated?! That's what I fought all along! I just never bothered to tell anyone! <laughs> wow! Now there's a guy who cares about his work! <laughs> <laughs> that guy's great. That must be one of the detectives. He's mumbling something to himself. That's it! The villain used a time machine! Very clever indeed. That would explain the alibi. The future might not be so far away after all. He's not writing a report. He's writing a novel. <laughs> Using his experience from the job, no doubt. Of course. Dancing Blue Badger! Oh, February 24th! Police Department entrance. Hey. Howdy, Bambina. Oh, Mr. Marshall! I never thought fiends would turn out this way when I woke up this morning. Okay, sirrah, sirrah. You never know where life will lead you, eh, Bambino? So did you get arrested? I should've known my luck had run out when old Billy dried up this morning. Old Billy? Billy? Must be his pet cactus. Oh. <laughs> Say, where are you headed? Just over to the prosecutor's office for a little interrogation. It's a voluntary appearance, but we all know I won't be coming back. Sorry, but you can't go to the evidence room today, partner. But, Mr. Marshall, why did you do it? Why do prospectors head west? If ever there was a case I needed to know the truth about, it was that one. Before you turn yourself in, Mr. Marshall, would you mind telling us exactly what happened? Hmm. Looks like I won't be getting a steak lunch today. As much as I hate to deprive you of your steak. <laughs> Something was fishy about that trial from the beginning. It wasn't just me, either. All the detectives thought so. But apparently never said anything. What do you mean, fishy? Some of the facts reported were inconsistent with the evidence we found. For example, the murder weapon. The murder weapon? You mean... that switchblade knife with the broken tip? That was Joe Dark's, all right. But, in the initial autopsy report, a question was raised. A question? The blade of the knife was not a perfect match with the wound the victim sustained. What does that mean? It means there is a good chance that knife was not the murder weapon. Ooh! Maybe his brother was trying to murder him. However, in the report that was finally submitted, that possibility had been erased. Could the facts have been concealed with forged evidence? Totally. That case left behind scars on all of us. The scars that the SL9 incident left behind. So, Prosecutor Marshall, tell me about your scars! <laughs> I got the looks, but he got the brains. He was one of the best prosecutors around. No offense, I think he has the looks, too. <laughs> yeah, he's a pretty handsome-looking dude. More uh, so than you who has hair to your shoulders. I don't, don't diss the long I hair. Don't, I don't I'm sure a lot of my hair. viewers have long hair. No, I don't diss the long hair at all. But I actually, I was just saying this the other day. I play this game where I'm like, okay, who would look good with long hair or who wouldn't? <laughs> you, you and I are very <laughs> different people. No, we are very different people. <laughs> but he, I feel like he can kind of pull it off. But yeah, I, yeah. Think I think he looked better good. with shorter hair, maybe. I just made detective when I when it went down. It was our first case together. How old was he, your brother? He was 27 at the time. Wow. He was awarded the highest honor that very day. That's so young. The highest honor? You know. Wait. Don't... How old is he? Let's check, Bambina. I want to see. He's... 33. That was two years ago. So he's the older brother. Oh, he's the older brother. Oh. That's even worse! Yeah. The highest honor? You don't mean. King of prosecutors. Not oh. that again. <laughs> what are you looking at me like that for? That's an honor for a prosecutor. Mr. Marshall must have really been close with his brother. King K. <laughs> <laughs> Paper Mario 2 reference. <laughs> I guess. I didn't actually know that. <laughs> it's just like, oh, it's okay. like King K, I guess, because there's a big K. All right. The day the SL9 incident took place, that wasn't the same day as... That's right. It was the day of the evidence transferal. Interesting. 
It was drizzling that morning, and by nightfall there was thunder. I can't believe two years have gone by already. I tried to steal the evidence so the case wouldn't die. Wow, how'd you warp your hat to your head? <laughs> Apparently someone tried to stop you. Detective Goodman was murdered, and the evidence locker was empty. Tell us about your scarves! Well, I got this great one on my knee. <laughs> <laughs> From when a horse kicked me. <laughs> there was something going on behind the scenes in that case. We all knew that later. Every detective involved in that investigation, save one, was taken care of. Miss Starr was fired, and I was demoted and boxed away in a tiny room. What about Detective Goodman? If they did something to him too, the commissioners would get suspicious. No, they were careful enough not to be too obvious. They? Who are you talking about? Don't get upset, Bambina. I mean, Damon Gant and Lana Sky. Yeah. So tell us about the two of them. Chief Detective Damon Gant and his second in command, Lana Sky. The latter was the pee prettiest girl I ever saw. <laughs> there wasn't a person on the force who hadn't heard of that duo. That case was the biggest step in both of their Ooh, careers. I have I have another ther theory. If Gant did it, look at how his hair is shaped like a lightning bolt. It was storming that night. And that probably is nothing. What? <laughs> no, but it was stormy! And he looks he okay, looks like he has if, a cloud on his if head. If that's true, a that's, that's amazing foreshadowing. <laughs> <laughs> if that's true. I don't think it is, but that'd be amazing. After the case ended, Lana transferred to the prosecutor's office, right? Yeah, Damon Gant, the new chief of police, arranged for that to happen. She's never been the same since she left. Everyone who knew her said so. Chief Prosecutor Sky was totally different when she was a detective. Now that he mentions it, Emma said something like that too. Tell me, what happened to my sister? Sorry, Bambina. But her secret is too well guarded. Yeah. I never found out. Lana's secret? It all started two years ago. I mean, she forged evidence, that might be it. So there you have it. That's my story. Did you enjoy it, partner? Yeah. It was certainly enlightening. Thanks, man. There's one thing for sure I found out in court today. That boy Edgeworth isn't my enemy. Good job. He's not. He was the one who used falsified evidence to get a guilty verdict. But someone else was the one who gave him that evidence and planned everything. That someone is Damon Gant. <laughs> don't believe me? Well, I don't blame you. I won't even be a patrolman after today. You drinking on the job? Too bad I won't be around to work with you. When you become a real scientific investigator. Adios, Bambina! He just rides off into the sunset. And he was never seen again. Really? Yeah. What?! He's just gone? Maybe. Where's it going? Maybe. Where's it going? Into the sunset, where the sun sets in the west. He just is going to Texas. <laughs> Straight towards Texas. He, he belongs in Texas. <laughs> February 24th, prosecutor's office underground parking lot. No one's here today. Not even Miss Starr. Everyone's probably busy looking into exactly what went down in the evidence room. That must be where the detectives are. But we proved in court today that no one was murdered in the evidence room at 5.15 p.m. On the day of the crime. Yeah, I thought we were finally making some headway in our case. But instead, it looks like we just ended up making Lana look even more guilty. Hang in there, Lana. I've got to find all the answers by tomorrow. Well, Let's on that note, look. I think we should stop there for today, because I think we're about halfway for the investigation, maybe? Oh, is that it? Okay. I That's don't remember. Good. It's like 30 and minutes. If so, we can have a longer than average episode uh, to, for the next time. Sweet. Thanks for watching, everybody. Tune in next time. I think we're finally going to learn the truth about everything. Ooh. It, it's gonna. You're. I hope you uh, hold on to the seat of your pants because they're going to oh, be yeah. flying off the next ah! episode. <laughs> and I hope you are having fun trying listening to me trying to come up with theories because oh sure yeah they're totally off but i have my thoughts really the person who did everything was the blue badger <laughs> honestly if they pulled that i would be like yeah, okay, <laughs> it's, okay. It's well tune in next time to figure it out anyhow have a great day and god bless